Welcome back to the Homeland Literacy task. We're on the next step, which is reading for the gist, finding evidence and reasoning. So we're going to use the Digo tool to highlight uh, evidence in green and reasoning in yellow that the author uses to support the claim. And we're also going to highlight and use the comment function to keep track of um, our thinking about what we're highlighting. So the claim is potential cyber attacks would have a negative impact on the healthcare sector. And we can see right at the beginning of this article, cyber attacks are accelerating worldwide and the U.S. healthcare system is dangerously unprepared to defend itself or its patients. That's the, the central thesis. So we're going to take a look at the first paragraph here. You can see that I've got um, some things already um, highlight in green. In the past two months, thousands of computers of the nation's number three pharmaceutical company, Merck, seized up amid a global cyber attack, <clears throat> cutting off production of medicine. So I'm going to uh, highlight that right there. And with my comment function, um, I think that I want to say that uh, losing out on medicine would have a very bad <clears throat> effect on people's health. There you go. All right, so I have a comment there that I can refer back to. Um, it says that the same rogue digital world worm crippled a hospital system north of Pittsburgh. Okay. This is important evidence of the claim. People need care at hospitals. And a cyber security threat stopped that service. All right. Hmm. From insulin pumps and defibrillators and on to expensive CT scanners and MRI machines, medical devices are increasingly connected to networks. That's another important piece of evidence they've got there. Now, patient medical records are online, and when networks go down, physicians say it's like operating in the dark. So, this is a reason why it's a problem. This shows how a loss of service can cause a major problem for healthcare. There you go. All right. And we we think that uh this is something the author would put in there for oh, using why so Paul why so pals point of view helps to support the credibility of the author's thesis. Why so Paul pointed to the fallout from the WannaCry digital worm, worm that swept the globe in March and the Petya malware that hit in June, leaving collateral damage in the healthcare sector. Every time we see something successful like WannaCry and Petya, you see other actors learning from that rather quickly, and they are able to replicate that style of attack. All right, so this is important reasoning because this shows that once a new idea on how to attack is revealed, that others will try to do it as well. Well, maybe that's two words as well. Um, 
this supports the idea that cyber security is a growing concern for the healthcare sector. All right. So we've marked up with a couple comments and um, we've highlighted the areas of evidence and the areas of reasoning in the first paragraph. So your job is to go on and to explore the rest of the article and you may do this individually or working in pairs or groups of four as your teacher directs.